was playing so hard he knocked the glass off. Power! Rock and roll. Hey, welcome back to the shop. We got one ready. Oh, yeah, we do. This single cutaway is Chris Johnson's guitar. Chris Johnson plays the guitar and sings, lead singer and guitar player for 710 Oil, local band here in Virginia. And this was going to be black, but once we started looking at the wood, we were like, man, it's just too pretty to paint. You just couldn't do it. We just couldn't bring ourselves <laughs> to paint it. And I talked to Chris, and he was like, man, dude, that's sweet. Leave it like it is. So we have a mahogany thin line single cutaway. This is a, a thin line guitar. Starts out as one and three quarter inch blank still, but obviously with the carve and the back carve, takes a lot of the weight off of it. I need to get a, grab a set of scales and see how much it weighs. Hang on a second. I'm going to do that. Okay, we're back. I had to go get uh, the scale and find batteries because the batteries were dead, of course, because when you need it, the batteries are dead. Couldn't find the batteries. Had to steal batteries out of other things. But we're back, okay? And for the record, 2032 yes. is seven different than 2025. Yes. a 2025 will not work where a 2032 should be, so don't it's even try. Do it. Okay, so... We're set on zero pounds, we're using pounds. Uh, that towel weighs 2.3 ounces, so remember that. It's important, this thing. And, let's see how much the guitar weighs. The guitar weighs 7.8 ounces by itself. So take 2.3 ounces off of that. She's about seven and a half pounds. No, seven pounds, five ounces, six ounces, something like that. So we're right there in the seven pound range. Which is great. Yeah, that yeah. feels very comfortable. Which is cool. You know, for those people who like lighter guitars and, you know, not killing it every night. Okay, but anyway, so there's that. Stunning piece of mahogany. African mahogany. Uh, Macassar Ebony fretboard, like that Macassar Ebony. Goto stop tailpiece and bridge. We got hip shot tuners, though we love the hip shot tuners. Um, glow in the dark side dot markers. And really big. Yeah, nice. Light, big. yeah. What's and the, really, man. You know what the size is on that? Just off the top crazy. of your head, they're just. Yeah, they're, 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 I'll show that on the. Yeah, that's great. Point zero nine three, I believe they are. So, uh, and Seymour Duncan pickups, my favorite, the hot rodded set with a JB and a Jazz. Um, if it was up to me, all guitars would have those two pickups. In. So, I love those two pickups because they'll do anything and everything, really. We got the cool looking uh, diamond cross inlays. We have our new uh, tuxedo headstock, which is really cool. And we'll show that in the slide. Like, I love that. Yeah, it's cool. classic. Um, we, you know, it's funny, he was talking about this guitar was originally intended to be black. And, uh, I, I mean, it would have been cool, I guess, but the world doesn't need another black guitar. The world needs more of these. Yes. And, uh, the black hardware, the bell knobs, the tuxedo headstock, this guitar is just, ah, it's just, it's a rock and roller. I mean, I, you know, first thing I did was play an Ozzy tune when I picked it up. But, it just reeks of class and elegance. Rock and roll. It has that, you know? Yeah. It's this cool. is this is what a custom luthier guitar. This is the epitome of it in my eyes. All right. Like when, when I think about what you do and, and what we turn these things into here, that's what I want everything to be. I want I want to look at it and get, like it's furniture and just go, oh wow, look at that. And this one totally does that for me. Right. It totally does that for me. Everything about it. Let's give them a fly by. Okay. Then we'll listen to it. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, 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 oh. So. Uh, I guess we'll start with the tuxedo because that's that's a really cool thing, and I'm, you know, it's a deep. Wait, I'm on the screen. It's a detail that Tony can certainly explain how it's done better to you guys, but it's just a nice touch, man. So we'll get up here. So if you look at, the, and I'll try to balance the light reflections for you guys. So if we flip this way, you see it's almost kind of like scraped binding, but it's not scraped binding. It's literally another piece of wood. kind of see that and of course you know the, those tuners that we love so much um that's gorgeous honey yeah boom 
So you can, yeah, you can kind of see it nice. That mahogany is pretty. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece of mahogany. Pretty, the whole thing stuff. is. Uh, of course, coming up here to the inlays. Let me see those guys. The guys across. Oh, oh, oh. There they are. The Excuse my dirty here. fingers here. Chris, we'll get you some new strings. Um, so on down, and let's get to the good stuff here, right? There you go. Get enough light in there to show the grain. There we go. That's the angle. That's the angle. Let you guys get a good look at that. Pretty. So in the bell, you know, the, I, I bell knobs. I great looking, right? Let's look at the back. Bell knobs look great. I did look at the back. You did? Okay. Yeah, I did. I did. I showed you guys the back, right? I'll get a little bit out here, though. Okay, okay see? That's a little bit better angle. Yeah. God. That African mahogany was beautiful. <sighs> and then some of the neck. Good looking stuff. It. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Fine work. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> Chris knows that I want to keep this guitar. So I kept calling and saying, dude, I really like this guitar. He's like, yeah, I know, but forget about it. Yeah. This one's a keeper. This one's totally a keeper. I say they're all keepers. It's and, a real and I have kept a couple. But this one, yeah. if you turn your back, you're just going to have to file a report. It's gone. It's gone. And I, just I, it's I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Next right. week, picture of me on Facebook with this guitar. I know. That's a different one entirely. Right, right. Cut that one off. You know, it's, it really is a, a personal taste thing at this point. And uh, I am one of those guys as a player that I don't seek out specific... Well, it's not true for my tellies. I seek out specific pickups. But I don't really seek out a specific pickup when I listen to a guitar when I hear I like to play the guitar that is here. Yeah, yeah. You know, it kind of makes you a different person. I think some of you guys can relate to that. So this guitar, you know, they, they make you feel things and do things. And this one's... <laughs> It, it has that thing about it that makes me want to play like that. And, and it still sounds it. thick and heavy, even though it's a thinner guitar. Yeah. It really doesn't, you know, you don't have to have that big, heavy pump. Um, something else I love about this particular model guitar, when we do these, you can't really tell until you put your hand on a guitar like this, but I can go all the way up. With no interference no, whatsoever. No clunkiness in there. Yeah. That's killer, right? You can do that with this. I got a, I got a strat I play that song on, and it just every time it's like, it's gonna, that note's gonna be there, or it's not. You're gonna hit that big it's, shoulder. It's either gonna happen or it's not. This guitar totally allows you to do that kind of thing, and I love that about that too. It, it doesn't, I, I mean, you can do it on a lot of guitars. I think I don't know if you did that on a Lost Paul, yeah, right. but the point of that to me is I don't have to work hard right. to do it. I just play. Yeah. That's, you know, it, your guitar should be an extension of you, and it should help you play. Yeah. This thing, sick. Totally sick. Let's hear what it sounds like clean, the clean version. Clean. I can just clean it up here, man. Just turn it up. Yeah, that's good.
Hey guys, okay. Steve is not here with us. Steve Weaver's not here with us today. He is in. He's on his way back from Georgia. 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 So, of course, he's still here in spirit because he did a lot of work on this guitar too, doing the sanding, the international symbol for sanding. Right? 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. 10,000 right. hours. 10,000 hours. Master sander. That's right. But that's it. This is Chris Johnson's single cutaway. She's a beaut. She sounds pretty. And uh, we're going to go get back to work. I hope you guys have a great whatever it is that you're doing. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the like button. Throw down some comments if you want to. We'd love to talk to you about guitars. Okay.